people, people, my people, I have heard your cries. First of all, up, down, up, down, hoodie, CoreyKitchen.com. Less than two weeks, baby, go ahead and scoop it up. I've heard your cries. Spooky Scary Sunday. I just woke up at 2.37, so by the time I'm finished with this, just so y'all know how much editing and effort goes into it, I'm thinking it's gonna be about 8.30. Either way, I see you made it on time for a Spooky Scary Sunday. Of course, I'm always the late one. Unless you one of the late ones. In which case, why the frick are you late? You the one probably been, you probably got the loudest mouth been asking where Spooky Scary Sunday. Now before we get started, I wanna show y'all something. Corey, switch from mic audio to camera audio in three, two, one. Okay, now, um, first of all, Momo Tees, get him, get him. I had a little photo shoot for y'all, all right? I was really out here. Anyway, I live in Michigan, as most of you guys should know, and um, this is what I woke up to. It's cold. Don't come here. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Good snowballs, though. Check the aim. I missed. Oh! Y'all building a snowman? Oh, yeah? All right, I'm gonna try to hit your snowman, all right? <laughs> oh! All right, so it's been three days what? since I came in from outside. There's not even snow on the ground anymore. Um, got a little, I don't know if y'all got y'all snacks yet. Sometimes it'd be take y'all like three days to get your snacks. But yes, this is three days later. Um, I asked y'all on a Spider-Man yesterday, did y'all want to have a spooky, scary Wednesday? And y'all say yes, yeah. so. <laughs> Oh, it's in my, oh, imagine, imagine I do the whole episode with this right here. Y'all really be having me looking crazy sometimes. It'd be a piece of trash like right here on my forehead and y'all don't say nothing. I'm gonna just finish my oatmeal real quick and um, then we can get started. So, how's your day? <laughs> yeah, I ordered uh, one of Berlizzi's hoodies. It came with a freaking picture, dude. Yo, look at this. Yo, so freaking wholesome, man. Like, you look good, man. Pause! Speaking of, if y'all haven't ordered my merch yet, uh, freak you think you doing? Freak you think you thought? Today we rocking the Samurai Blammer tee. I think you got about 10 more days. Ask your mom, ask your dad. Either way, we getting started now. Um, y'all know what Spooky Scary Sunday is, right? You know what it is. Because if you don't, clearly, clearly you're not subscribed. So go ahead, rectify your mistake. Subscription button is right there. Now, if you are subscribed and you don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is. Somebody in the comments, let this sucker know. Spooky Scary Sunday is a show where every Sunday, even though this one's on a Wednesday, the Samurai get together. We come together as the beautiful tribe, the beautiful community that we are. We sit back and we watch some scary videos sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. You go to Twitter, follow me at Corey Kenshin. Almost at a million followers, guys. I'm just saying. We got over 7 million subscribers. We knocking on the door of 8 million right now. I feel like we could get a million followers on Twitter today. If y'all would just stop playing these games. Shout out Hardstop Lucas. But you go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Corey Kenshin. Use the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday and leave a link to the scariest video that you know. And if your video gets picked, why do I shit it? So sit back, relax, grab some snacks. Go ahead, get you some oatmeal like I got. Get you some toast on the side and wash it down with some orange juice. And with all that being said, first video. <laughs> Now the first video of this week is called a regrettable DBZ cartoon and it was uploaded by Meat Canyon. Meat Canyon, I have a really special bond with DBZ. My most favorite anime of all time. This was the thumbnail. Yeah! Look how they massacred my boy. This was sent to us by Red Cat Million over on Twitter. That's Goku's house. Chi Chi, I'm home. Oh! Goku, 
what did they do to you? I'm home. Goku? What are you doing here? Bit of an odd question, isn't it? <laughs> what? I said it's a bit of an odd question, isn't it? This is my home, <laughs> so I should be allowed to shelter at my own convenience. Uh, I suppose I... Oh I suppose, God. yes. I do suppose. Tell me, Chi-Chi, where's my boy? My little monkey man? I don't know. You really don't seem to know much, do you? He's out training with Piccolo or one of the others. Thought you didn't know where my son was at. <laughs> it was just an educated guess. Oh, is that right? Where did you go to school? <gasps> oh my gosh. Bro, imagine if Goku is like evil. GG won't be able to do nothing. What? So educated, you must have some masters or doctorate to be What's making doing such with that? bold claims. I... Would you care for a sensu bean? Chi Chi? No, thank you. Goku, you're scaring me. Uh oh. What's going on? Uh oh. You've never been grateful for the things I've given you. What? I said, you've always been an ungrateful pile of dirt. What? Oh my God. Dirt beneath my feet. Only there to breed life into the seeds I plant. What do you wow. mean? I'm soil. Wow. No, I don't think I am. Why is he popping sensu beans like Zans? How much have you ever lost on a game of cornhole? What? Are you deaf? I asked how much you've ever lost on a game of cornhole. What the freak is cornhole? Bro, I'm about to look this up. Please don't tell me this is something crazy. Oh, oh, it's, it's this game. Okay. I don't think I've played, okay? Of course you have. You've been playing your whole life. You just didn't know it yet. What? I want you to toss that sensu bean into my mouth. <laughs> Why don't you just use your hand? <laughs> Why are you playing this game? Chi Chi, <laughs> toss the Sinzu bean. <laughs> please make it, please. Oh my gosh. Oof! A major air ball has landed Chi Chi into the fight of her life. Can she overcome her godlike husband and live to see another day? Or will she perish like the countless foes that have crossed his path? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. What the heck? All right, it could have been worse. I thought he was, you know me, Kanye. He could have ripped her head off. He could have been blood everywhere. <laughs> This next one is called The Girl in the Woods, and it was uploaded by our friends over at Alter. Now, this was sent to us by Diana is Sweet over on Twitter. Enjoy this video, Corey. Hope it doesn't scare you too much. You know who the freak I am? I ain't gonna get scared. Okay. Last situation I wanna be driving down a spooky road at night can barely see nah whatever make sure this hd on him yes sir you don't got uh spotify where's your aux at Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is with some of y'all phones. Y'all be walking around with phones that be looking like this. Look at the top. This is why I told y'all. Do yourself a favor. CoreyKenton.com. Get you a phone case. Don't be like her. This is why she not on Spotify. Yo, I can't even look at her phone, bro. Half her screen don't work. And it's dead. Oh, just throw it in the trash. Go to the Apple store immediately. Nope, keep driving. I don't got nothing to do with me. Huh? Oh, I thought that was somebody. Oh!
please tell me that was an animal. Where's the... Don't touch it! Huh? It could be deer fur. Hello? It could be deer fur. I'm optimistic. Please don't be a woman. Please don't be a girl in the woods. The title of this movie. I mean, short film. Not a good idea. Why are you doing this? See if your vehicle will turn back on. Prepare for the jump scare. <laughs> Good. Everybody good. Ain't nobody up in the trees. I can't do that. <gasps> oh. Another flashlight? No, it's too quiet. I can't. I can't. I'm stressed. Hey. Yo. No. Mm -mm. No. Why? Por qué? Why is she walking towards her, bro? Is that her? Uh, let me go. I of look like her. And it was another flashlight. It's dark, dark. Okay. Oh. She about to get hit. She about to get hit by a car. It's a loop. Twilight Zone. Well played. Well played. That's straight out of a Twilight Zone episode. Hello? Wow. I like that. I like that one. I like that one. That was some horror science fiction right there. <laughs> Now this next one is called Killer Kenshin MP4 and this was uploaded by Baddington. Obviously from the title of this video Killer Kenshin, look down in the description Baddington said this video he made was inspired by me. So immediately I'm gonna need y'all to go over to Baddington <laughs> and subscribe and like this video. <laughs> Baddington, you're a legend, man. I don't know what we about to watch, but thank you for making this. Now, this was sent to us by Molly on Twitter, who said, yo, this is a special one for you. <clears throat> In 1948, Japan was still recovering from the bombing of World War II. A squadron of Japanese troops were on a mission in Nagasaki when the troops noticed a building. Whoa, okay. 
Um, all right, so some soldiers found some toys in a little building, and uh, one of the toys was brand new. They didn't know who left these toys uh, because the toxic levels in the area were too high. Uh, Skarjan said they felt a sense of dread around this toy, and they called it Akuma no Bushi, the Devil's Samurai. Oh, ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. So it has supernatural properties that cause anyone around it to commit seppuku. These next clips are from 30 years ago within that facility. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's gotta be me. That's gotta be me. Uh, testo. So it's a it's a test. Hey, listen. Oh, okay. So it didn't do anything. Another test. This reminds me of um Pizzeria Simulator. Y'all remember that one? Hold up, roll a little clip, Corey. You are not to return. Begin audio prompt what? in three, two, one. Yo, I miss playing FNAF games. When the next one coming out? Alright, nah. Bro, these sounds. Bruh, imagine being one of the people getting sent into the room. Another test. Bruh, leave this thing alone. What did that headband say? It says killer. That says Kira. For years of research, it was discovered the toy would whisper a message that would cause any human who heard it to commit harakiri. Speculation stated the phrase could have been Samurai Slaisu. <laughs> Yo! Samurai Slaisu. What if you just grabbed the nearest object? What's happening? What's happening? Ah! No, but Samurai Slaisu. That like button, you know what I'm saying? Another test. Oh, I like that. I don't like this. My skin is crawling right now. Whoa! That is nasty looking. I see you, Corey. What the freak? What is this? <laughs> Yo, what the freak? <laughs> Bro, chill. so fire man he even put the little annotation in there because he knew if y'all don't subscribe to this man baddington right now he's at 51.5k can we get him to 60k please who made a whole animation for this <laughs> This next one is called The Lady in Black, and it was uploaded by Spencer Keller. Now, Spencer does scary short films. We actually reacted to one called She Knows, 
and that one was Fuego. Now this was sent to us by Bree over on Twitter who said a lot. Corey, watch this with your light off. Love from Dominican Republic. Hola, buenas tardes, o noches, whenever you watch this. Como esta todo? Remember to like and subscribe. Oh, oh, and hit the bell, Bree. This is what I'm talking about. See, I let y'all know earlier. Now Bree letting y'all know. Be sure to subscribe. Huh? Yeah, so I've been squats calling about 25 years now, and I know yep. that that was How they know what a squatch sounds no, like sure. if they ain't ever seen a squatch before? Oh, yeah. Probably because squatches don't exist. It's just a guy in a monkey suit, if you ask me. You gonna be there tonight? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Hey, you know, actually, how we going? Pick me up Mike's hard. If not in that gay bar first. <laughs> Shut up. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Hey, I'm just kidding, man. Uh, we'll see you soon, right? See you. Alright. The quality is so high, like... What's wrong with everybody radios? This episode. Where's this? Ah! Oh my gosh. Bruh. Get out of the vehicle. He is looking around hard. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I got a sneeze. Did you forget something? <laughs> Thank you. Ryan? Okay, man. Oh, heck no! Very funny, I get it. Bruh. <laughs> no. Nope! Nope! I'm by myself. I see a door crack open. Y'all know what I'm reaching for. I don't know where my shotgun at, but I got my katana. You don't want to mess with this steel, baby. I cut your butthole in half. How you pooping double? Y'all hear that loop of the sound? Okay. Okay, that's it. Bro. Bro. No, no. My eyes about to start watering. This shot is so good. Okay, I get it. Bro, do something. That's enough, Ryan. Okay, Ryan, you're gonna you're gonna break the door. Now's not the time to be still standing there. <laughs> Honestly, I'll probably be sucked too. Like, what do you do? Ryan. Please stop. That's not Ryan. I'm serious, man. That's...
Hey! What was that? Will you explain that, please? I'm serious, man. Uh... Ryan. Jutsu now you had one chance I see some. What is that? Why would you turn away from the door when it just opened by itself? Why would you do that? This is a 10 week. This is a 10 week. When I tell y'all to bring me scary stuff, this is what I'm talking about. Whoa. The quality. The 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 suspense. The tension. The build. The climax. Magnificent. Magnifico. If y'all don't go to subscribe, I know I'm telling y'all to subscribe to everybody. Me, Baddington, Spencer Keller. Can we get him to 50k, please? Dude is an underground legend in this horror short film world. This next one is called Diet and it was uploaded by Social House Films. We've reacted to a few of their amazing films. ASMR, The Devil's Door, go peep those if you haven't seen. They are some really talented people. This was sent to us by Aiden, who said, this is from me and my brother. My name is Aiden, and my brother's name is Jalen. All right, Aiden and Jalen, well, thank you for being tuned in. It's kind of cool that your names rhyme. <laughs> my gosh. Bruh, the quality is off the charts this episode. You can tell in the first 10 seconds, the shots. The focus, the uh, the sound. You can tell in the first 10 seconds, the good from the bad. Dang, calm down. Bruh, it's too early for this kind of tension. He just cutting carrots. Slice? Bruh, is that carrot like alive? Bruh, this. Please don't reach down there. Bruh, it's One Piece! Oh my, final destination. His hand about to get grinded up. 
Bro, I cannot reach down there. Like, I have a phobia. I can't. It's a one carrot. You gonna you gonna eat that? Ugh, bro. I'm sorry. I couldn't. Oh, old spaghetti and stuff down there. Oh, Woo! <laughs> yo, bro. This dude about to get Ebola. If I could jump in time, I could buy some hay. Why? Are those carrots? On the what? What? Whose man's is this? Bruh, them carrots is nasty, bruh. And I think eating carrots is a great way to lose weight. Like, I lose about, like, 10 pounds every you look sick. month or so, you know? So, I mean, yeah, so I've lost about 100 pounds over the past, like, 10 months. Uh, you know, I mean, sometimes you feel a little bit, like, woozy because, you know, you probably feel like, like, you need protein or yeah. something. Yeah, look at your freaking... Uh, but, you know, you just have to trust the process. That's part of the, the process. It's probably the carrot man. I'm about to chastise you about eating carrots while you're in the bathroom. That look comfy though. What's that, a king? Oh my gosh, she about to choke. Hey, somebody get this dude an adult. He needs parental supervision. He up out of there. He's up out of there, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, I'm just hitting your chest. Don't just go out like that. Another one bites the dust. Victoria. What kind of photo editing? <laughs> she looks so nasty. Moral of the story, don't eat carrots in the bathroom or anything for that matter. And the last one for this week is called True Paranormal Activity Horror Story. It was uploaded by Horror Shorts Party, one of my favorite animators. This was sent to us by Hey Chan's Apples, I think that's how you say. And it said we watched it at night and it was disturbing. So, let's jump straight in, shall we? So, Australian, bruh. Like, I think I was born in Australia and I just didn't even know. Don't you think so? Outback. This is the most terrifying thing that has ever happened to me. I want to share my story with the world all right. now that I have closure. Oh, it all started. It is my favorite voice actor, Terrence Nicholson. Yo, this dude is fire, man. If you know, you know. That's all I got to say. I immediately grabbed my cell phone to call the cops, but my hands were trembling so much that I actually wasn't capable of dialing anything. 
Trevor, 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 I am not loving it! A couple years ago when I was living with my girlfriend, who we'll call Sarah for the sake of the story. I remember we were both in the living room watching a movie. We usually did movie nights on Fridays and it was my turn to select which movie we get to watch. I was personally a horror fanatic, so I chose a horror film. Good pick. It was pretty late in the night when this occurred, so it really made the movie that much more intense. Sarah wasn't really into the horror genre, so you can imagine the kind of reaction she had throughout the movie. Midway into the movie, Sarah asks if I could walk her to the bedroom. I reply by saying, sure, after the movie's done. You know I don't like horror. Please just walk me to the bedroom. I'm scared, Trevor. We can leave when the movie's done. I sat through your whole movie last week, so it's only fair that you finish mine. Please don't do this to me. I'm really scared, Trevor. Quit being a- Hey. You don't want to focus on the movie? There's other stuff for you to focus on, baby! Please don't do this to me. I'm really scared, Trevor. Quit being a chicken. I'm not leaving the couch till this movie's done. Hey, he kinda- I hate you! Dang! Sarah angrily gets up and heads to the bedroom on her own while I- <laughs> When your mom tell you you can't get that new Cory Kenshin merch? I hate you! When McDonald's shake machine broke- I hate you! Sarah angrily gets up and heads to the bedroom on her own while I continue watching the movie and mentally prepare myself for the That's argument that awaited weird. me. About 10 minutes later, my throat begins to itch, so I decide to get a bottle of water in the kitchen. As I stood up from the couch, I get startled as I see Sarah standing in the darkness of the hallway. Uh, Sarah, you scared me. I, I thought you were in bed sleeping. Sarah just stands there with her eyes wide open, <gasps> gazing into my eyes with her emotionless expression, almost like she was looking into the depths of my soul. I assume she was still upset about earlier, so I said, I'll be waiting in bed as I casually walk past her. As I open the bedroom door, I see Sarah laying in bed asleep. Whoa! My mind raced with mixed emotions of confusion and absolute horror. I could have sworn I just saw her. I decide to peek outside the hallway, only to see nothing. This can't be real. I could have sworn I just saw her. You did. I, I must be hallucinating. You did. I just, I just need to stop watching scary movies this late at night. I disregard what had just occurred and crawled into bed with Sarah. Make sure that's the real one. At 3 a.m. in the morning, I wake up to a loud sound which sounded like glass being shattered. I noticed Sarah was no longer in bed with me, which I found quite bizarre as it was very uncharacteristic for her to be awake at this time of night. I could hear weird noises coming from the washroom outside the bedroom. I cautiously get up and began to approach the washroom. I could hear Sarah in there. It sounded like she was talking to someone, or something. A voodoo chant. I opened the door, only to discover the most terrifying thing I had ever laid eyes on. I can see Sarah standing in the bathtub covered in blood. She had smashed the mirror and used the broken shards to lacerate her body entirely. She then began yelling the words, I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Her voice was demonic. I was thoroughly convinced that this was not my girlfriend and that she had been possessed by some sort of evil entity. Yeah. I stood there quivering, not being able to move a muscle out of shell shock. Sarah then pulls the shower curtain, unveiling a message on the wall which spelled, I hate yeah, you. I get it. Written in blood. I heard you. My legs go completely numb ah! and collapse to the floor. Sarah then oh, picks up a my... <laughs> How many of y'all, when you get scared, literally fold yourself like an omelet? Sarah? Sarah, oh my gosh, what's happening? Sarah then picks up a large piece of the broken oh. mirror and yells one last time in her demonic voice. I hate you! She then pierces the shard across my chest repeatedly, stabbing and stabbing and stabbing. Oh my god! I remember seeing a bright white light as my life flashed before me. That's when I open my eyes and wake up to a movie playing in the living room. This isn't the horror movie I played earlier. It must have been a movie Sarah put on. I checked the time and it was exactly 3 a.m. I looked to my right only to see Sarah staring dead at me with a grimacing look. What's wrong, Sarah? This is the third time you fell asleep to the movie that I picked on movie night. I hate you. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say it. Ah! Sarah? Run! Sarah?
Do y'all see why this man is my favorite voice actor? That, 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 I really enjoyed that animation. That, that was good. And so was this entire week. I'm gonna clap that up for y'all. If I could give y'all two tens this week, I would. And so I'm gonna need you to do it again. Two ten weeks in a row. I need it. I need it. I crave it. I require it. I'm gonna see y'all on Sunday. Body, y'all only got a couple days this time to get the best of the best together. I need it. Until then, spooky scary Sunday.